All right, let's go ahead and do our privacy and security tip of the week. And, you know, every week we put one of these terrific things together so that this way keeps you up to date in this whole digital lifestyle. And right now, Amazon Echo and Digital Home are getting a lot of attention. And if you're unfamiliar with them, basically there are these gadgets that you put in your house. And when you say a certain keyword is that they wake up and then you can ask them various things like, you know, what the weather is going to be or how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon. Um, did my Colts win the football game? Get anything that comes top of mind. But the key is, is that, well, how do they know that you really want them when you say the weak word? Well, what happens is, is that when you say Alexa, she glows blue or he uh, streams a fraction of a second of audio before the word that has woken her up and then sends that to Amazon servers and closes once your command has been processed. Now that fraction of a second is saved along with your main command. Now Google Home works the same way. That wake command is okay Google. And if it detects it, it's LED lights activate and the recording is then sent to Google servers. And that's what's freaking a lot of people out. It's like, well, you know, what's going on? And how do I hear all these recordings? And what else are they listening for? And the creepy part, too, is that Amazon and Google keep an audio recording of each and every voice command that you've ever issued to Alexa or Home in their servers. Like on the Echo side, you actually can review your voice log with the Alexa app on iOS and Android. You can scroll through all your activity and listen to each recording. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. I mean, you can hear your two-year younger self say, what's the weather in Phoenix going to be? And then you can also start re deleting recordings using a command card. Now, if you're over on uh, Google Home side, they have pretty much the same things where you can go into more settings and my activity in the Google Home app and start deleting some of those recordings. And you can actually mute the mics if you wanted to as well. Like Google Home, you can press the physical mute button located on the back of the shell. And to turn off Echo's mic, you press the microphone on and off on the top of the device. Uh, but it's very, very interesting. If you've had one of these devices for some time or you're just new, you definitely want to take a look and make sure that you know how it operates and make sure you actually know what it's recording and also how to delete those recordings. We've got all the step-by-steps free for the taking. Just head over to commando.com. That's K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com.